sure the workers here will have the same respect for a press boss as the Bobbies did. You are not authorized. Please clear the area immediately. Nah, just rest in my feet. to see you. Snug as a bug on a drug. Concerned about purity. You have been decontaminated. Please proceed into the lab. Turn down the heat of the ruminating reaction until you've noted the temperature curve. I need to determine the explosive threshold temperature. Never mind. Just wrap the temperature curve and pop it in the new battery. Don't control this. Oh, and I want samples of any residue on explosive debris. I won't let you bring me down. Take your medicine. Someone needs a nap. You'll thank me later. Oh, <laughs> 
I'm not sure the workers here will have the same respect for a press boss as the Bobbies did. Well, that feels entirely too good. You are not authorized. Please clear the area immediately. Concerned about purity. You have been decontaminated. Please proceed into the lab. That door looks rather sturdy. I wonder if there's a way around it. Locks insisting they didn't create mutant mushrooms. I guess they created mutant mushrooms. I wonder if that's what started. I don't think I want to try and cross that steam. I hope I can turn it off somewhere.
Turning off that dangerous steam, if that is indeed what I did. Maybe I can sneak past these gents without a fuss. I guess this is the latest test formula. I think I'll just take this with me. Evidence or something. Permanent solution. Drove the subject insane. Oh lord. A big red button. I wonder what it opens. Keep calm! 
I feel rather brilliant right now. Funny. Suddenly I remember that time I threatened to thrash Timmy Hargreaves because he said rotten things about Sally. And it turned out he had an older brother who'd been in the army, and he was waiting for me on my doorstep when I came home. ...from school. And he gave me such a thrashing. Why would I remember that right now? Christ, Sally was in on the scheme. No. Wait. She's being very nice about it, but she's not at all on board, is she? Hmm. The salamander seems to think Bullock's solution... ...solution is a tad rash. Well, it's alarming, given what she considers reasonably cautious. Dr. Verloc is thinking very hard, sir. No visitors. The brominating reaction has caught fire. Sir, sorry to bother you, sir, but there's a fellow here says the reaction tank is on fire again. I said no interruptions. Some of the byproducts are poisonous. He says it's poisonous, sir. Of course there are poisonous byproducts. Tell him to do whatever they did the last time. Dr. Verloc would like you to do whatever you did the last time. No one knows that. He's an imposter. Implement security protocol 187. Oh, yes, sir. That's my favorite protocol. I am full of the fury of the Lord, and I am right weary with holding back. Ye shall not deceive me with empty words, for the wrath of God comes upon the sons of disobedience. 
The Lord judgeth thee, and he is angry every day. Just lie down. And smoked in high school, I could carry a bit more. Test done on the latest Isomer. Now, oh, come on, you pack rat. You can't take a whiz with you. Do any of you want to keep your jobs? I'll have you all replaced by Mrs. Pankhurst Bridge Club. to each other. Ralph, you're not bloody mule. Pick what you can carry easily. I hope I don't have to taste this twice. Stuff. 
You better throw something away before something starts chasing you. Please don't make a fuss. You gotta drop some stuff, Arthur, or it's gonna be tediously slow going. the violence inherent in the system. Phrenology? Was that supposed to be ironic? I thought you were only supposed to give someone a piece of your mind. <laughs> You know half your workers are unconscious. The, the, the fumes issue will resolve itself. Look, I'm very busy recalculating the brominating reaction so it is non-explosive. Unless you've got a magic formula for synthesizing joy out of bleach, whiskey and saltpeter, get out! You're planning to lobotomize the people of Wellington Wells, aren't you? Lobotomize is a rather inflammatory metaphor, but yes, I have been asked to synthesize something stronger and more permanent than joy. Who are you? If you force people to have the emotions you want, then you've turned them into robots made out of meat! <laughs> and what do you think you are now? You are just the sum of the neuropeptides swirling in your bloodstream. You see, the current downer outbreak is just a mass chemical imbalance. But I believe I can adjust the internal hormonal settings so the people stay happy no matter what. You can't do that. They told the Wright brothers they couldn't fly. But they did. You can't do that! Oh, my lord. You're that downer they've been warning us about. I'm actually just here for a bottle of cod liver oil. What makes you think I'll give it to you? This bottle of your new formula. If I smash it and you breathe the fumes, will it make you happy forever and always? You mustn't. It makes the patient insane! Ha! Now you can't move until I take my hand off this button. Oh, shit. Now, where's the bloody cod liver oil Sally wanted? This is the cleanest office I've ever seen. Where does he hide his junk? I wonder if he has a secret lair. Well, he's just the sort who would. Hello. I'm in a 
haunted house movie. Sound this ridiculous cod liver oil, I'd better be down here, or I shall be cross. Don't mind me, just having a bit of a sit down. Drop some stuff, Arthur, or it's going to be tediously slow going. Listen, Sally Boyle's going to come live with us for a bit. Sally Boyle? Why? Because her mum poisoned the whole bloody rest of her family, Arthur. And because we've got a spare bed in the attic now till Percy comes back from Germany. She's your age, you know. She's an idiot. Well then, you two should get along beautifully. Uh, just rest in my feet. Dr. Verloc seems to be quite the collector. Where's the fucking cod liver oil? Thank you, Sally, for another wonderful adventure.
I hadn't smoked in high school, I could carry a bit more. 